Hey y'all, good morning. It is Friday, 9 a.m. and I am going to this garage sale that was listed last night. I kind of did my checks, uh, kind of like I mentioned in my last video, where- You've arrived, over. destination is in your left. All right, let's see here, where's the destination? Looks like that must be it, right there. Older vintage house. We'll see what happens. All right, y'all, I know y'all wanted me to film inside that sale, but it was pretty chaotic and um, garage sales are in full swing down here in Houston. Let's just put it that way because I got there pretty early and by the time I was in there and I started uh, getting a pile together, etc. There must have been, I caught like five people trying to dig through my pile and try to take stuff out and, um, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know this was your pile type thing. So fair warning to people, if you start creating a pile, you better make sure, make damn sure that there is someone that's going to maintain a watch on that pile because these people aren't liable. They're not watching. They're busy answering questions. There's there's people diverting their attention. It's it's pretty crazy. So I would highly recommend if you got a pile and something that's valuable um, to make sure that you either keep your hands on it or put it behind them so there's no one that can get access to it. Um, I'm going to show you what I did get from my haul real quick. I'm really excited about a couple things that I had to dig through that weren't necessarily in plain eye view. You had to actually open up some boxes in the garage, etc., to find. Um, and there were some items that they didn't know what they had. So uh, let me show you. I'll go in the uh, trunk real quick. All right, so here's everything that I just got. And I paid $80 for everything that I'm about to show you. And... I'll get most of my money back, if not more, from just this. It's like a 13-inch TV VCR combo, but what makes it good is that you got a bunch of retro gaming people out there that are buying these up for a pretty penny. And although this is a Toshiba, I did turn it on and test it. And then I don't know if you can see there, but model number, okay? So keep an eye out for old TV VCR combos. Like I said, I did turn it on. The VCR did play the tape. Um, it was pretty clear. So what I'll do is see these imports right here. I'll get one of those old school plug and play, like gaming retro pole position Pac-Man type things. And I will plug it in, get it showing on the screen, and then list it with it showing that the screen does work and everything. And you'll be surprised. I think I'll get at least $200. And I paid $10 for that thing. So $10 into $200. The shipping, you'd be surprised. It's not that bad. You find a cube box at like Home Depot or something and just run some um, styrofoam on the sides and then put like fragile on all of them. It's not that bad. Um, unfortunately for me, it did not come with a remote, so that's gonna hurt me on price a little bit, but still, good flip. I'll, I'll make at least 100 bucks on $10. Um, here, this is other stuff that I got. Anytime you see brand new sealed, that's always a pickup. These docking stations, although I don't have the phones, the docking stations for like um, phone systems sell. Uh, these old school like calculators, Casio Casio, for the right price, 50 cents, you can't go wrong. I didn't even look this up, but it was a give me, so I didn't have to worry about it. I've already talked about this in previous videos, but if you see the, the vintage Pyrex with the red lettering on these measuring cups, they always have a pretty good sell through.
these are brand new I'm not sure if I'll sell them but for a couple bucks I bought them they're like those wind spinners I don't know originally they were 25 bucks but I guess in the Sun they make a, a I don't know like a reflection when they turn I'm sure y'all out there know what I'm talking about this one has a hummingbird on it same thing originally this one was 20 but for a couple bucks couldn't go wrong this thing I looked up and it was like $25 on the comps and I got it for like nothing so all right these are always a bolo item you see any brand new sealed old vacuum cleaner bags make sure y'all get it. it came with an extra one so I'll put that in my listing and I'm sure I'll sell that between like $20, $25 and I paid like $2. Um, any old brand new sealed like gadgetry for helping people. This was like a safety bar, brand new sealed. Um, this they only had a couple bucks on. Yeah, $2. And it's a brand new sealed stained glass art cleans. I don't know, but I looked up the comps and they're like $20, $25. Um, let me keep going here. This was one of the things that somebody kept trying to take out of my pile because they knew something I didn't. <laughs> um, they wanted five on it and there are sold comps on this thing like up to like $80. So whatever it does, I guess it's pretty good. And it's still brand new sealed. So $5 into $80. It's a no brainer. This I didn't really know. Let's see here. This thing only had $3 on it. But anytime I see like, like custom made, my art hearts are made and found from objects, materials, and designer and joy. So, I mean, you could tell someone put a lot of work into this, and I'm into art, so um, I don't know what I'll do with this yet. I'm, I'm not going to keep it because, I mean, rainbow hearts in my house, uh, people might start asking questions, right? Um, but I'm sure there's something I can do with it. I'm not sure. Either at my booth, I'm not going to take it to the auction house. I've had bad, um, bad situations at the auction house that if y'all been watching my videos um, we're still not getting paid it's been three weeks and I haven't got a check yet on all the stuff I've done for three weeks so and then they're taking 40 percent on top of that which I don't have to pay 40 percent locally on Facebook marketplace or um, like offer up or anything like that and even at my antique booth I can sell it at a discount and still not have to pay 40 percent I only pay 10 percent there so I'm having some mixed feelings locally uh, on that. Um, this is an old school jack-o'-lantern. Um, under the sticker, it said made in USA, general foam. So I know that these usually go for like $10, $15. From Halloween time. So I used it to pick up a bunch of rocks and I'm kind of a rock hound. So anytime I see like geodes or um, cool rock formations, um, I usually will pick them up. She gave me a pretty good deal for the whole bag. Um, I know there's like a amethyst in here. Let me see if I can find it for you. It's kind of a crystal. If you are into crystal. Um, this, I think it's just a regular rock. It's not a, sometimes you can find these that aren't cracked yet and it's actually a geode. Um, let me go in here. Here we go. I think this is... Yeah, it's not a big one, but it's still it's a geode, purple, amethyst. I might be able to sell that amethyst just for the money. Here's another one. There's a lot of people that collect rocks. Natural healing type situations. I don't know what this one is. It's kind of funky. Hmm. The rest are just black silver stones, I think. Um, cheap extension cord for outdoor and then this is like some sort of it's heavy this is like I don't know I want to say this is like five pounds it's like a um, cement I think but it goes out in your garden they went in five bucks on it and I thought it was pretty cool rainbow no I mean I'm sorry it's butterfly 
Imagine. I like that song, Imagine. By, um, was it Paul McCartney? John Lennon, I'm sorry. John Lennon. Don't roast me too bad for not knowing John Lennon, guys. So that is what I got. I'll make all my money back just on the TV, so everything else is free. And I'm guessing I'll make a couple hundred bucks on this trip. And unfortunately for me, um, I couldn't go to any other sales because we have some family friends that are coming in town from Kentucky. And I have to get my pontoon boat tuned up and all cleaned up and ready so we can go out on the lake. It's really nice weather down here in Clear Lake. Um, so we'll be taking advantage of that and then we'll probably go to a road trip and go to some wineries and go to the beach in Galveston, etc. So got to prepare for all that. So if y'all don't see um, as many videos as y'all are used to seeing me, it's because I'm busy doing fun family friend stuff while I have some... Uh, people visiting in town That's about all I got. I hope that y'all enjoyed this haul Maybe you learned a couple things on some items that you wouldn't normally pick up such as the vacuum cleaner bags as long as they're new and sealed These gamer TVs. I think you already knew about it. Anytime you see new sealed things They're just easy to list easy to ship, right? So always look at all you gotta do is scan the barcode on your eBay app Scan that barcode and then filter the search by solds and then see what people are paying for it. I mean, for two bucks into 25, I mean, that's a pretty good return on investment. All right, guys. I almost forgot to mention that it is Friday and I gave everybody that was in the drawing till Saturday night to uh, contact me and let me know their address, everything else uh, for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm excited for everybody that won. Congratulations. I will be mailing everything out uh, tomorrow or Monday because I, I have to basically give the people the opportunity, like I said, and I promised, because I can't enforce it within a one day viewership. I got to give them time to, you know, get back from wherever trip and, you know, maybe they don't watch YouTube as frequently as others. But I um, wanted everybody to have at least a week opportunity to see my video, respond to it, give me their address so I can send them their winnings. Uh, so if they didn't reply, everybody that's in second place, I will be um, contacting you, um, send me your address, et cetera, because there's a, there's, there's a handful of people that have not reached out to me. So there's a good chance that you might get your backup uh, price. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.